Hey everyone, I'm about to start designing a steam engine prototype for off-grid battery bank charging, and I'm hoping you guys can help me answer some questions that'll help guide the design. So here I want to talk about steam engines for a moment, demonstrate how a simple steam engine works, and then at the end I have a list of questions that I need to answer to help design the prototype steam engine. The steam engine is one of the most important inventions in human history because it made possible some of the largest ever changes to society, including revolutionizing transportation, industry, farming, and causing mass migration from the countryside to cities. Steam engines may seem old fashioned, but they still produce about 80% of the world's electricity. Coal, gas, and even nuclear power plants all actually produce power by heating water to create steam and using it to power turbines that create the electricity. So let's jump right in, and please remember that likes and subscribes really help the channel grow so I can keep the content coming. Feedback and questions in the comment section are always welcome, and the best way to support the channel directly is over on Patreon. I've got this model steam engine that the folks over at EngineDIYShop.com sent me that I'll use to give a brief explanation of how a steam engine works. I'll link to their web shop below. It has a ton of different model engines like steam, sterling, jet, and internal combustion, which are great for teaching and learning how engines work. I love models because I find it really helpful to actually have the thing in my hands to really learn it inside and out. Really quickly, before describing how the steam engine works, it's important to note that steam is an invisible gas, and the mist we see is actually water condensate mixed in with the invisible steam. In a full-scale steam engine, this water needs to be removed before being used, but a simple model like this skips that step. A simple steam engine works like this. First, the boiler heats water to create steam. Next, a valve system will direct and release the steam in timing with the engine. This drives the piston back and forth, and the piston turns a crankshaft, which turns the linear motion into rotational motion. This is usually connected to a flywheel, which helps smooth and maintain a consistent rotational speed. And here we can harness the rotational motion to power things from electricity generators to machinery or vehicles. And here's a little side note. This is a fascinating example of Lentz's law. When I turn on the lamp, the electrical load on the generator creates a counter torque that opposes the rotor's motion, slowing down the steam engine. And when I turn the light off, it goes back to full speed. I like to think of steam engines as two completely different systems. First, there's the boiler system, which produces clean, dry steam. And second, there's the mechanical engine, which converts thermal energy and pressure into mechanical work. While they need to be tailored to work together efficiently, they can be physically distinct, optimized separately, and even thought of as modular. So here are some of the questions that I'd love for you guys to help me answer as I begin designing my first prototype. For the boiler system, flash boiler or boiler tank? Flash boilers are more complex, but theoretically safer with less potential for catastrophic pressure events. For a boiler tank, horizontal versus vertical. A vertical tank would be easier to build and have a smaller footprint, but a horizontal tank has the potential to be a bit more efficient. Sizing the system. My idea is to size the cylinder or turbine for the desired work output and then match the boiler system to accommodate it. Which brings me to realistic targets for pressure and work output while keeping it safe. Currently, I'm looking at about a half kilowatt up to a two kilowatt system, which would be ideal for charging a small battery bank. Type of fuel to optimize for. I'd like to go for wood or charcoal because I can produce them myself and be totally self-sufficient, but I'd love to hear the pros and cons of different ideas. Safety systems to build in, like hydrostatic pressure tests, pressure relief valves, fusible plugs, pressure gauges and sight glasses, things like that, and any redundancies. Ideas on how to dry the steam and remove any water, like centrifugal steam dryers or steel wool demisters. Turbine versus piston. Turbines can be more efficient, but the lower speed and higher torque of a piston system can be more practical to use and more versatile. The best materials to build it out of, they can still be made in a small shop. For things like the piston, cylinder, piping, firebox, things like steel versus brass, all these sort of questions. And ideas for repurposing old parts for things like the firebox, the cylinder and piston, and the flywheel. So that's it for now. I'd love to hear your responses for any of these questions or any others you can think of, and I'll be back soon with an update on the design once I've had a chance to go over your responses. 
So thanks for watching. Looking forward to hearing from you and see you soon.